Good morning and welcome to worship with Plymouth Presbyterian Church. We are glad you are joining us for worship today, whenever that may be. The session upcoming has called our annual congregational meeting to be held on February 21st for the purpose of electing officers, thanking outgoing officers, and approving terms of call. The meeting will be held over Zoom, and we have a bit of time between now and then to make things uh, more accessible to all. If you'd like to join over your phone, you can. There's also, of course, if you're watching this, uh, you should be able to join over your computer uh, or a smartphone or tablet. Please contact us here at the church if you would like some help uh, being able to make that meeting. I also want to share a few exciting gifts in mission as we wrapped up 2020. The church was able to give to the IOCP sleepout uh, in recognition of several of our youth doing a modified sleepout this past year, and those funds were able to be matched in our donation as well. Uh, thank you to the Holmans for leading the sleepout, and we also gave to Clearwater Forest and saw that gift matched as well. Thank you to, to the congregation for the generosity and the, the ability to be making these gifts to our ministry partners. In our communities, in our congregation, in our lives, we seek to return to God a portion of all that we've been blessed with. So if you would like to give online, that service is available on uh, the, the worship website at PlymouthPC.org. And uh, you can also uh, arrange uh, to send in a check or other things as well. We do all that with the gratitude and recognition of all of the blessings of God in our lives. Now, as we gather for worship, I invite you to join me in a deep breath in and out. As together we prepare our hearts for worship. Welcome to worship. As we start our worship this morning, as we turn to God in prayer, let us confess our sins before God, who is our help in times of trouble. Please join me in the prayer of confession. Loving God, we have asked for your righteous judgment against others, but we have not acknowledged the sin in our own lives. We have worshipped you with our lips, but have dishonored you with our actions. We have prayed for you to end the suffering in our world, yet we have not practiced compassion and generosity toward others. Forgive our self-righteousness and give us integrity of heart, that we may shine forth the light of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Friends, in mercy, God forgives us our sin and grants us genuine repentance through the grace and power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven, freed to live the new life. The peace of Christ be with you. Let us join in worshiping God in gladness. <laughs> 